all those things, but I'm just going to continue to support him. So. Have you gotten a chance to speak with him? I don't necessarily think it changes what I need to do. I just think that it's going to allow us to come closer now. Honestly, as a group, you know, it's kind of canceling all the distractions. You got a chance to speak with Jalen since then? Or? I talked to him a little bit yesterday. You know, like I said, I'm going to continue to support him. I don't know much about the situation. That's kind of like out of my hands. I just told him that I'm here for him and I'm going to continue to support him. What was his mindset? How was he feeling? Uh, I mean, Jalen's not a man of many words to me, at least. And I'll just come on. My friend, and like we don't really talk that much football when we're together. Like, we just, we just be guys. You know, I just told him like, what we do. Was it a surprise to you at all when you heard the news based on what you've seen in the last few weeks? Yeah, I mean, I don't, whatever, whatever something I was seeing was pretty surprising. So, like I said, I don't really know too much about the situation. How do you feel you and Brandon kind of complement each other as running backs with your styles? Obviously, you both were a really successful Saturday. I mean, I think the game kind of spoke for itself. I think that we complement each other extremely well. Especially for him being a 17 year old, too. I mean, just seeing the maturity, the growth. I mean, he was just a guy who carried the ball, just ran, but just seeing how he's progressing as a young running back, too. What do, what do you see him? Right. I mean, it kind of like. Everyone was 17 at one point, so he said it's a lot to figure out. So, I mean, just for him to be able to accomplish what he's accomplished already is pretty exciting. Whatever I can do to help him and make him better, I'm going to make sure I do. Can you explain how, what Coach Brown is like as a coach? Um, does he communicate well with guys, or what is his approach to, to talking to guys? Uh, I think he's a great coach. I mean, he, he has so much experience at the next level. That, like, you know, like I said before and earlier in the year, whenever he speaks about certain things, Knowing that he's coach, who he's coach, and just like immediately zoom in and listen because like he knows what he's talking about. You know, going into a game week or even that day, how many touches you're going to get, or how do you guys figure that out? Like, what's the approach? Because some of the other guys I've talked about, they show up at the stadium, they don't necessarily know. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely like who has the hot hand and like what I think how the flow of the game is going. Honestly, I don't think there's any like oh, chess is going to get this amount of carries this game. I think that's how it is at all. As you mentioned, eliminating the distractions. Obviously, with things that have been happening since the beginning of the season, just is it nice to just kind of looking forward? This is the room we've got. Hopefully, nothing else like this is going on. Uh, most definitely. I mean, these are the guys we got, and this is going to give our best effort. So, I mean, as of now, it just kind of just lays around. And we have a night game this week, you know, it's exciting. Kind of just lays around that. What kind of a distraction is it, or has it been, when you're losing guys that you thought were going to be part of the team? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a distraction for me, at least. I know that it's kind of a distraction for the outside world. People kind of think I'm running back and just falling apart, whatever that means. And I don't think that's the case whatsoever. So, I mean, it definitely doesn't look great, but I'm very fortunate and very happy for that. So, so as you said after the game Saturday, being a leader, you mentioned this space too. Just how do you help lead a team or a leading group that's kind of going through some tough times like this? With my actions. I feel, like I, I feel like talking at this point doesn't really do much. I'm not a man in many words either. I don't, I'm not the huge vocal leader. I just make sure that if I play, my place is for so. Chess, is there anything with the Army's defense right now that, that stands out? Have you had a chance to look at filming? Or yeah, I looked at their personnel. I, mean, I think that their personnel kind of stands out. Yeah. I think people look at academies and think that they're not very big, but they have a pretty big front. They kind of remind me like a big 10 front. So I'm excited to dive into the film a little bit more. on Saturday you wanted to be known as more than a stat bat. You were being recruited here. How much did that come out? Did, did Wisconsin say you're more than that when I'm bringing you here to be a, a gadget guy? Or is that something you had to bring up to them to stop them out like a few miles away? I mean, that was kind of, that's kind of always been like my MRI. Like, in, in high school, I was never really like a, a scat bag. It's just kind of the systems I kind of fell into, in, even in college. So when I came here, I knew that my play could kind of escalate and I could become that bigger back that kind of became more exciting. Did, did Coach Chris had already seen that in you, or is that something you tell you needed to prove when you I feel like that. I've shown the dips him before, but I just feel like if I really wanted to emphasize it, I had to do that and make a statement in the game. Chess, when did you get the tattoo on your leg, the chess secret stuff? I got that in my senior year of high school. You a big Space Jam guy, or yeah, where's that yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, even when I was little, I, I used to watch a whole bunch of some big movie guys. So 
when I, I remember watching Space Jam when I was little and, and Bugs Bunny was like, here, this is my cool CP stuff. I was like, I, I think that'd be cool if I like gave me a little play and played the Chesney CP stuff. What's your favorite movie? Of all time, it'd either be Scarface or Rambo. Not a lot of romantic comedy. <laughs> 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 not, not, not at all. Hey, Paul, you've been awesome.